All right, I'll be honest. I was gonna do some like clever, snazzy video stuff. And then I was like, it's Friday and I'm tired. And so I'm just gonna give it to you straight without any extra bells and whistles today. So here you are. Topic is a star to be. And let's draw our chart. All right. Your form of a star is estoy. Oh, yeah, like estoy bien. I am well. The two form of a star is estás, like como estás, how are you? And then the usted, el, ella form, ella está, él está, usted está. Um, they all share that same form. That's why when you're using the formal um, you say, como esta usted. And nosotros form, you might be able to guess, estamos. Nosotros or nosotras estamos. How about ellos and ellas? That's están. Ustedes also están. Uh, notice a couple of things here. First of all, it mostly follows the rules for AR conjugation. The amos for nosotros form an for ellos and ellas, a for el, ella and usted, as for two. The yo form is a little funky. It's, it should, if it follow the pattern, it'd be esto, but it's at a, at a y and it's esto. That's just a little exceptional. Also notice the accents are exceptional. Normal AR verb conjugation, you don't have those accents. So just a couple of little quirks about a star. Other than that, it follows AR conjugation rules. And the vosotros form, of course, used only in Spain is estáis. And that one just for your information. There it is. Don't forget those accents and the Y on is the yo form estoy. I know you're asking now. Hang on, Mr. Cox. We already talked about to be, it's said. So what is going on? Well, that's a pregunta misteriosa. If said meant to be, then what's going on? What is the difference between said and a star? Class, I'm gonna let you simmer in suspense over the weekend. <laughs> and next week, I will show you the difference between said and a star. When to use one and when to use the other because they are two different things. All right. That's all. Make sure you've got the chart down and bring it with you on lunes. Have a good weekend. Adios.